Hello and welcome to this tutorial on pricing optimization. Today's session is going to be slightly different where we are not going to be doing anything related to Python. We are going to be doing some calculations by hand and we are going to be looking at this little bit approximation. And in the lecture videos, we saw about the capacity allocation where if you have a fixed allocation, say C, how do you distribute it to economic, economic travelers or uh, business travelers? Let's say you have a fixed capacity C. So out of this C, how many will you reserve for the uh, business customers? And how many you will allot for the economy passengers? Right? For the economy passengers, you have a threshold called K, which is the booking limit. For the business travelers, you will basically find the protection limit, which is Y star. So you don't have to use star here because this is an approximation. So the formula that connects all these three components, capacity, protection level, and business limit is nothing but uh, Y is equal to C minus K. So if you know the protection level, you can calculate the booking limit. Similarly, if you know the booking limit, you can calculate the protection level. What this Littlewood's approximation tells us is the following. Uh, the complement of the CDF function of the business travelers is nothing but P E by P B. So this is the CDF function of the, uh, so it's the complement of the CDF function, F B bar of Y is equal to P E by P B. So let us assume a few things here. Let us say our capacity C is fixed to 100. So you have 100, you have 100 airline tickets to be sold and you have to distribute it among two classes, the economy passengers and the business travelers. Let us also assume that the origin, destination, time of flight, everything is same, including the seats. Just the timeline of the, uh, the, the booking, booking timeline of the business travelers and economy travelers are different. So we know that economy travelers, they book the ticket well in advance and business travelers, they do it in the last minute. So everything is the same. We have a capacity of 100 seats, 100 identical seats, and the same plane that goes to same, uh, that starts from the origin and goes to the destination. So you have to distribute uh, these 100 seats among business and economic travelers. Okay? Let's also assume the fare paid by the economic customers is fairly cheap, $250. We can also say that business travelers pay way more than the economic travelers. So you know PE, you know PB. Let us assume that the demand of the business travelers is uniformly distributed between 10 and 20. So here we say, well, the distribution of the business travelers will be somewhere between 10 to 20. So now, Based on this, do the allotments of the 100 airline seats. Well, you know the formula of the uh, CDF. Well, we have assumed the distribution to be uniform with the lower bound as 10 and upper bound as 20. So CDF is nothing but FB of Y is nothing but uh, probability that the demand of business travelers is less than or equal to y. Right? So this is FB of y. Then the complement of this is going to be 1 minus probability of the business traveler demand less than or equal to y. Well, you know this formula very well. So let's use 
this particular thing f b of y f b complement of y is equal to p e by p b so f b complement of y is nothing but 1 minus so what is the probability that the demand of business traveler is less than y well it's y minus 10 by 20 minus 10. So this is the lower bound of the uniform distribution. This is the upper bound of the uniform distribution. So therefore, 1 minus y minus 10 by 20 minus 10 is equal to PE by PB. 250 divided by 750. Right? So this is nothing but 1 minus y minus 10 by 10 is equal to 1 by 3. So, simple algebra, it says 2 by 3 is equal to y minus 10 by 10, which again implies 20 is equal to 3 y minus 30. So, y star is equal to 50 by p, which is approximately equal to 17. Right? So, if you know your y is 17, you can easily calculate k. 17 is equal to 100 minus k. So the protection level is 17. What is K? K is equal to 83. Right? So this is again approximately equal to 83. So here, if you know that your business customer distribution is a uniform and it is uh, distributed between 10 and 12, you can say that the protection level is 17 and the uh, the production level is 17 and the booking limit is 83. All right. So what will happen if you increase the range of the uniform distribution? So now let's say that uh, the business demand is uniformly distributed between 10 and 40. So previously it was 10 and 20. So now I'm increasing the range. The previous range was 10. Range is nothing but max minus min. So now the max minus min is 30. Previously it was 10. So let us say have uh, a slightly higher range. So now we say that the demand of the business travelers is uniformly distributed between 10 and 40. So let's use the other formula here where we say that where we say that the CDF function is of y star is equal to 1 minus p e by p b right so this is the other this is again a uh, little bit approximation previously we saw that the complement of the cdf is equal to p e by p b so now f b star of y is equal to 1 minus p e by p b so we know the CDF function of the uniform distribution. We know that this is nothing but probability of the demand less than or equal to y, which is nothing but y minus 10 divided by 40 minus 10 is equal to 1 minus 250 by 750, which is 1 by 3. So you can say that y minus 10 by 30 is equal to 2 by 3. So 3y minus 30 is equal to 60. So y is equal to 90 by 3, which is 30. If you know y to be 30, then your k is equal to 70. So the protection level is 30 and the booking limit is 70. So here you say, well, I will allot 30 seats to the business travelers who come in the last minute, who come on the last minute. Whereas my economy 
class passengers will have the capacity allocated to 70. So that's what this says. If your business demand is uniformly distributed between 10 and 40. So as you increase this range, your booking limit is going to increase further and further. So this is one example where I have used a continuous uniform distribution. You might wonder why I have used a continuous distribution. Uh, well, you know that the number of seats is a discrete variable, but I have used a continuous distribution here. It's okay because this is an approximation. So since this is an approximation, uh, the revenue generated for 17.33 and 17 is, is okay. It's not a great deal here. So since this is a simple approximation, I've used a continuous distribution. So now you can feel free to try with other distributions that you've learned. And uh, you can typically try with a normal distribution and see how the booking limit and protection level varies when the, the mean or variance changes. What will happen if the variance is high? What is going to happen to your booking limit or service booking limit or protection level if the variance is low and so on? All those things you can experiment. So this tutorial was to simply demonstrate Littlewood, Littlewood's approximation for a business traveler when the distribution when the distribution is uniform. Thank you.